Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Blow Daz. I'm Gaynor. Okay, Patreon's your thing. Check out the link in the description below. Absolutely loads of stuff on there, isn't there? There is. Uh, full watch alongs, Modern Family, Always Sunny in Philadelphia, F is for Family. family. Welcome to Wrexham. Uh, Seinfeld. Seinfeld, yeah. We've got. Uh, yeah, and also we've got um, uh, the quarterback, which yeah. we did as well. That's, uh, that's complete on there as yeah. well. So, mm -hmm. if you want to support the channel, starts at $3 per month. Yeah. Um, moments before disaster. You chose this one, Gainer. Uh huh. Yeah. What is it? Is it people getting into sticky situations? Is I it? Think, yeah, it's just before something happens that. Yeah. You know. We get into it. Yeah. Let's go. Through life, but sometimes the paths they're on lead to people getting stuck in some very weird places. Apparently, moths aren't the only thing attracted to light. I don't know what's a more important question: how he's gonna get back down, or how we got up there in the first place. Presidents have some of the most specialized cars on Earth. They're bomb-proof, bullet-proof, not ramp-proof, it seems. <laughs> they say a balanced diet is crucial, but when you mix up the picnic bench with a seesaw, things become a bit lopsided. I've seen that so many times in pub gardens. Yep. I was just going to say, I've seen it. I've not seen that one, but I've seen ones in pub gardens yeah, where so people they have, sit they have down. the bench like that. And if you go sit down and your friend comes and sits on the same side, the yeah, next thing. Can flip. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, watching Willy Wonka as a kid wasn't enough to deter some people. She's now uh, one with all the wet wipes people try to flush down the toilet. Uh, that would be my worst nightmare. Yeah. I'll be just like whenever I throw a bowling ball, this truck drove right into the gutter. What are you doing? What can be the coolest gymnastic trick ever can also be a nightmare situation at the same time. Uh. Circumstances <laughs> change in a blink of an eye, from soaring through the sky to facing a watery finish. <laughs> there are two types of people. Those who- No lie, he did well there, getting yeah, him did, in there. Yeah. Just scooping him in like that, yeah. I would have thought of that. ...to help and those who fill. And by the looks of things, that baby oh doesn't want to go anywhere. <laughs> oh. After one too many drinks, the best thing to do is to have some water and a nap. But choosing where you rest your head is important. Unfortunately for this guy, his rubbish idea no, led no. him to being swallowed by a trash can. Like he's gonna bang his head. Doing two journeys is just out of the question, even if it means getting caught in tricky situations like this. Oh. No man left behind is the American dream, <laughs> except when it comes to laying out this giant tarp, and it's every man for himself. Drifting is cool, but not when it's breaking the rules just to get impaled on a traffic sign. And if quicksand isn't your worst nightmare, then oh. this one probably is. Malfunctions like this really take the fun out of a fun fair. If criminals are rats, then he proves it. Holding out in a sewer tunnel and caught on live noose? Talk about a double <laughs> win. Looking right they out say the camera. shoot for your dreams, but he got stuck in the hoop. When he finally got the opportunity to watch the annoying guy at work get some karma. He took a sweet time before turning it off. <laughs> Urgent calls are a daily thing for the emergency department. But when it's a hotel thief in a high predicament, there isn't much of a rush. And this thief definitely wasn't the biggest fan of being stuck on that AC unit for two days. Oh, wow. <laughs> Even years after leaving school, he still found himself getting unwanted wedgies. What'd you do? You stuck? And this is how it feels to drive through a graveyard of shattered egos. Each driver before him thought their car was the one to get through this test. And all failed. When you finally get fed up with your train never coming on time, he tried to take matters into his own hands. But his plan was... How would you get in that uh, position like me. that? As he, as he drove off the... But then, then again, surely you'd just be like... Face down. Yeah, I, I guess if you drive off the side and you fall down and you, you, by the time you break, you smash into it. I don't know what's happened there. No. Went off the rails. When you want to get three people through with one ticket, but now it doesn't look like anyone's getting in. Push it. This lifeguard quickly became a beached whale after falling victim to this railing. I'm sure he's no longer oh. on the fence about how committing crime is more fun than sea swims. 
Oh, Sticking your head in a bin is always a trash idea. At least 10 hair washes in the shower are needed before he's allowed to go to the barber. If you don't have- What are you doing that you get in your head like that? That's what I mean. Hair washes in the shower. What are you doing? Right? I have no idea. That's what I'm thinking. What's I don't even, I don't even like putting my hand anywhere near the bin. Are needed before he's allowed to go to the barber. If you don't have a concrete idea of what's road and what's fresh cement, then it's probably best just to take a taxi. Of all the places I'd want to put my hand, down the toilet is one of the last places. But I guess she just had some impulses that needed to be flushed out. And unfortunately, the plunger wasn't enough to deal with this blockage. You He's remember Dan Daniel? Down. Well, these are his white vans now. Yeah, his frame really took a nosedive. Sometimes taking shortcuts is necessary, but not all corners can be cut in life. And he found that out the hard way. 100 yards away was a zebra crossing, but he decided public embarrassment was the better choice. This criminal took an extended bathroom break and police had to intervene. He has quite the prison story now. Who else can say they've been <laughs> oh, stuck imagine. inside of a golf oh, course porta potty? Yeah. <laughs> Who knew a library could be the perfect setting for a horror film? To be a kid. Thing about them as well, we have them where we, where we go to a lot of libraries where they do all them. We have to go to, to have a look at them. Yeah. Um, when, they, when they close on like that, because they're all full of paper, the sound is very muffled. So you can't hear people, especially like the big long ones. You can't yeah. hear people screaming oh for help. God. So it's Ooh. like a, the advice to go in twos. Yeah. yeah. Haver, you need a few essentials, like being fit, flexible, and fearless of claustrophobia. Everyone has their hobbies, and always being at risk of the worst death ever is just part of his sport. This is where I'm at. Water is right here. No room for me to move my head. And this is why tourists get a bad rep sometimes. Money doesn't buy intelligence. He now has to make the ultimate choice. Either be trapped forever or scratch the paint of his $250,000 Ferrari. Accepting that you are a response. Where was that with from that registration? It was. Mm. Principal adult and some things are exclusive to kids. Can be difficult at times, but that's why reminders like this are here at all times to keep us in line. Oh, to be a mum, having to deal uh, with tantrums, fussy eaters, messy rooms, and your child getting stuck in a vending machine? This Get kid out. took a trip to the <laughs> Shadow Realm, otherwise known as the secret place where our baggage goes. We've all been tempted before, and luckily, he made it to the other side. Not even submarines are that reliable these days, so your regular car doesn't have great odds in deep water either. Luckily, this lady was able to car her closer down. to safety, and somehow she escaped without getting her top wet. Ah, the summer vibes are complete. Deck chair, check. Sunshine, <laughs> check. Random car floating by in the water, check. In an incredible turn of events, the two cones and tape uh. were proved to be there for a legitimate reason. What a plot twist. There's nothing like having your world turned upside down on your big day out. And if you thought head rush was bad, no matter how much confidence your big car gives you, driving into Shrek's swamp only ever has one outcome. Why would you even try? Ben Johnson. Young kids just thinking, I can get through that. Through that puddle, yeah. yeah. You see, whenever you see anything on the roads, when these floods over and you see someone stranded, it's always a young kid. Yeah. It's never like a, a, like a grown person. Yeah. It's always like a 17 to 24 year old. Yeah. There's nothing like getting that perfect shot, but setting up your camera in quicksand isn't the smartest idea. As we all know, when it comes to saving, technology comes see first, then us. I've seen this as a bus, but never a double-decker race car. Oh, it really that. made sure that clinch yeah. joint last place together. <laughs> Love that, innit? Yeah. When that route Google Maps suggested has How some that? extra steps, at least he gave the fire department a creative problem to solve. But the real mystery is what the driver was thinking. Yeah. 
If Play Stupid Games, Win Stupid Prizes was a person, it would be him. <laughs> Little did he know that after his childish prank, uh -huh. he'd be trapped in the airplane bathroom. Nobody enjoys power cuts, but for these unlucky people, it meant staying upside down Ooh, on the wow. ride for 10 minutes till... That'd be one of my worst nightmares, yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, anything like that, it would be freaking me out. Anything on a roller coaster yeah. where I have to get out high up. Yeah, climb whatnot. down. Nah, no. I ain't doing that. <laughs> Click out fixed. What goes up must come down. Except if we're talking about a broken elevator, then you might be waiting a while. <laughs> Covering the faces. We can all spot the guy who's never watched an Indiana Jones. How many did you get? Um, people can I know, get right? That. So it sounds the size of an elevator, was that? Jones film obviously has to roll under before that door closes. There are better ways of giving your car a new color makeover, but he decided that driving off the track in the mud was best. The most epic slam dunks start off like this. But at some point, you need to let go. This is exactly why you should never overcomplicate things. That's it was at this moment, her enjoyment levels slid uh. right back <laughs> down to earth. School is a scary place. But clearly <laughs> failing grades and homework is not all... That's something he didn't do. <laughs> one day. Even the teacher stood there like, and said like... Muppet. It's your own fault. All you have to worry about. That ramp was definitely built for those motorcycles. And not for the big cement mixer. When there's a will, there's a way. Except when the way you want to drive is exclusively not for vehicles. Then it doesn't matter how much willpower you have. When the drag race track is so sticky, you start doing a backwards moonwalk. This jewelry shop functions as a makeshift jail for unsuspecting thieves. Now that's what I call a quick open and close case. All because that's not a quick open and close door. I remember that. Never mind yeah. about waiting till after the commercial break. You'll have to wait till the next stop before this news report can continue. <laughs> Usually, if you commit a crime, not being caught by the police is the biggest priority. But when things go this badly, you have to be saved uh. by them. Hey, buddy, what's your name? Hey, bud, talk to me. What's your name? <laughs> Even if you're Spider-Man, <laughs> getting home from work becomes pretty tricky when you've cemented yourself in. <laughs> in a world where forks don't exist, mankind has to find alternative ways of getting their favorite snacks out of jars. But they keep getting in a pickle just like this. Being a parent is as much about surviving your kids <laughs> as it is helping it. them survive. <laughs> On the plus side, though, that's some pretty impressive <laughs> upper body strength. When you have the heating That's on, cool. a fluffy blanket, and expensive new pet bed, but your cat still opts for this as its resting place. Good luck getting out of there now, little kitty. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what being a sibling is all about. When they're trying to relax in the heat, and you come in with chemical warfare. <laughs> Yeah, I think I can fit in the small uh, size t-shirts. Doesn't mean it's gonna happen. Sometimes you just need the physical proof. The downside of being an adrenaline junkie is sometimes you OD. And a holiday activity quickly turned into an issue only action heroes deal with. Ah, snow. One of nature's most beautiful spectacles. Except when it's stopping you from getting home in time for dinner. But if being in long traffic jams gets too boring, getting stuck on a train track should wake you up a bit. It's lifting that up at the back. All this needs <laughs> is some Disney princess music, a few special effects, and bingo! We have our auto romance tale. To some people, it's a flood. To others, it's just a splash of water. That's until their engine gets flooded. And this is why following your risk-taking friend on a more adventurous trail sometimes isn't the best idea. Whether it's water, quicksand, or snow, being trapped underneath it is a chilling experience like no other. Hi, this is Mr. Pierre Brown. 
<laughs> Everyone knows if you're gonna try to break in via the vents, you need to grease things up a little. Well, that didn't help this would-be thief who found himself trapped in a restaurant vent for two whole days. A neighboring business owner heard the strange moaning sounds coming from the kitchen. I keep hearing that, that thing again, ah, uh, ah. Uh. To a <laughs> shock, he discovered- He realized he got a WhatsApp from me. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> This guy. But a grease-covered man stuck in the exhaust vent, pleading for help. Firefighters had to dismantle the vent for almost an hour to free the slippery intruder, sparing him from being squeezed through the sharp edges of the narrow shaft. The lesson here is, grease might make you harder to catch, but it won't help you out of tight spaces. A 26-year-old man from Tucson found himself in a sooty situation when he realized he locked his keys inside. Determined to regain access, no. he thought shimmying down the chimney would be a brilliant idea. The only problem was that the chimney was narrow as it got closer to the fireplace, trapping the man halfway down. Oh Firefighters God. eventually were called to that? rescue the man who was pulled out, all covered in soot. Apparently, this is a fairly common occurrence for absent-minded homeowners, so remember... I'm hoping he's... Over here, that guy not now be known as Sutty. Yeah. Wouldn't it? That'd be his yeah. nickname forever. Sutty, yeah. I wonder if it'd be the same over there. Yeah. You know. Never kids. Santa's job is best left to the professionals. And just like Forrest Gump decided to run for the sake of running, sometimes you just gotta climb a tree for no other reason. That's exactly what this man did in Seattle, scaling the 80-foot tree in the downtown limits because he felt like it. But once perched on his leafy throne, the man realized getting down was more difficult than he anticipated. So in true Tarzan fashion, the man decided the tree was his new home creating a little desk for himself towards the top and spending the night. Man in Tree, as his admirers called him, spent a total of 25 hours up there, refusing any offer of ladders from the fire department. In the end, Man in Tree found the courage to come down on his own. If you got this far with- I'm not sure, right? It's, it makes, the, when you see that, there's, there's hope for everyone, yeah. isn't there? There's some there proper are, There dogs. are just some weird people out, yeah. like, I mean, it's funny ones, the kid holding onto the garage and going up, that's yeah, quite funny, though. Yeah. You know, it's, um, and even the kid going inside the, the, the yeah. vending machine. Yeah, I've seen a couple of them, but they, I mean, you see it all the time, kids at the airport always messing around on the carousel. Yeah. You see it like a, a little bit of a ride. Mm. It's boring, isn't it? Yeah. You're waiting for your luggage to come out and the kids are looking to entertain yeah. themselves. They'll jump on the carousel and if they jump on too close, they're gone. Yeah. Nothing you can do unless you follow them, you know, follow them through. Do you remember years ago when Declan went up the escalator, he, he climbed up the escalator the wrong way. And I was down at the bottom with Adrian in the tro trolley and I was like, get back here now. And he hadn't. And I was like, I've got to now wait for the lift to go up to go get him. And then he <laughs> hid in the, the uh, Nordstrom in Free Old Mall. Kids for you, right? Yeah. But that's a, yeah, the, the, some dopes on there. Yeah. That you look at and you think, what are you doing? Yeah. What are you thinking? Especially the car ones. When you must, you must look at angles and go, I ain't getting through there. Yeah. Or if I'm not sure, don't do it. Leave yeah. it. Yeah. Don't that, that Ferrari one that was stuck in that. Nah, just you deserve it. Yeah. You know, it's, it's just I don't know, dopes. I don't know. Did you not take my car and drive down a, a, a road that got narrower and narrower and curb all my wheels? That wasn't a road. It was a block. It was a it was a, a road narrower. Um, it was designed to not let trucks through, uh, but it was a, like a cycle lane, and it, it was the only way in. And I had to go through it, but then I realised if I went another four miles round the edge, I could get in the back way. Mm. But I did curvy wheel, yeah. But did you get it repaired? Yeah. You did. Brilliant. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the next one. Bye. Cheers.